before I got to the kneading part. First, I had to mix the flour and salt in the oil. Then, I poured in the yeast. You have to be careful with it and pour it in slowly. Then, I mixed it into the flour. Finally, I got to knead. The kneading really is the best part of making bread. You fold and push. Fold and push. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Hoo, hoo. Making some bread today, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Kneading the bread is my favorite part. It's awesome. Making bread is fun. It's true. I know of someone who made bread just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo. Follow me through, follow me through hell. Always got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, go fetch Stormy Jane. <laughs> oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie, and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Whoa, Stormy Jane, hold on, silly dog. Wait, where's the toy? Oh, you brought me your bowl. She seems upset. What do you guys think Stormy Jane wants? 
Oh, food! I bet you're right! Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? <laughs> I will take that as a yes. Have you guys ever been hungry? Like, really hungry? Like, so hungry that your tummy is making that rumbling noise? You have? Well, Stormy has, for sure. Which reminds me of a story about a guy who was really hungry. Let me get Stormy some food and I'll tell it to you. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah, who one day got very, very hungry. But there was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went off to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. A goat? No, that's not her. There's a man, but that's not who we're looking for. You see her? You're right, there she is. That's the woman God said to ask. So Elijah went up to her and said, Can I have a drink of water, please? And a piece of bread? I'm very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. Then we won't have any food left. But Elijah told the woman, Don't be afraid. God will help you. So the woman went home, and she used the last of her flour and oil to make bread for Elijah. There goes the oil, and there goes the flour. Now she's got to pat the dough. Can everyone help? Let's pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Now let's knead it. Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers. You can stop. The bread is ready. The woman gave it to Elijah, who was super hungry. Thank you, Elijah said. But what about the woman and her son? They needed bread too. All her flour and oil were gone. But remember, Elijah had told her that God would help her. Look, on the table, there's more oil and there's more flour. Elijah told her that God said she would not run out of flour or oil. And they didn't. From that day on, Elijah, the woman, and her son all had food to eat. They were very thankful for the food God gave them. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye! So there's your story. It's all true. God helped the woman and her family. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! The woman made bread for Elijah, and then God made sure she would have more flour and oil to make more bread. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I know Elijah was thankful for that bread. I'm thankful for bread too. I should write that down and put it on our thankful tree. I'm thankful for bread and apples and bananas and pizza and I have so many leaf sad. See you guys next time. Goodbye!
Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107, 1. I just want to thank God for the way He made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much He loves me. I am so excited. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. Dude. 